Copepods were probably one of my favorite things to culture in our aquaculture facility. They were really cool and they helped us get through the tough first few stages with our baby seahorses. I know that there are a ton of companies who sell them and that's great, but based on what I know now after culturing them and selling them myself, here's a PSA for all of your reefers who feed them to your tank from the bottles in the store. They only live for about 14 to 20 days on average depending on the species, so check to ensure that the bottles that you are buying are not older than seven days or half of the culture will most likely be deceased. This is why we sold our live food through our dispensers and required that our clients restocked every week to 10 days to ensure a fresh batch. When you get them home, you want them to be at room temperature and you want to run the entire bottle through a sieve and rinse them in clean tank water before adding them to your tank. They do need aeration, so if they don't have it and they're just sitting on a store shelf in a bag, I would avoid that particular product. The fresher, meaning the more lively that they are, the better. Meaning try to buy from a company who has a dispenser in your local fish store with fresh batches that have aeration. The only company that I will recommend that sell the bottles in stores is Reef Nutrition's Tigger Pods. They're great. As for ordering them online and having them shipped to your house, they will need some time to grow out in order to have any significant numbers in your reef tank. They ship just the right amount to have them arrive alive and they do a really great job. So if you do take our course, we do recommend Algae Barn, as well as a few other sources of where to get a good starter culture from. Just know that simply adding the small amount of pods to your reef tank won't really make that much of a difference, especially if you have a large reef tank. For nano tanks, however, these are perfect. And as you know, this can get expensive to do on a regular basis without growing them out a bit before you add them to your tank. They do eat phytoplankton and they also eat detritus, so you will need to feed them a microalgae such as phytoplankton in order to get them to grow. As I have mentioned in previous videos pertaining to culturing phytoplankton and zooplankton, we have a full online course for $19. It's a comprehensive step-by-step -step course complete with videos so that you can actually see how everything gets put together and how it works. So if you're seriously considering culturing your own copepods for any application, consider checking out our online course. I will leave a link to it in this video's description course for $19. It's a comprehensive step-by-step -step course complete with videos so that you can actually see how everything gets put together and how it works. So if you're seriously considering culturing your own copepods for any application, consider checking out our online course. I will leave a link to it in this video's description.